Oh, we had another beach. What beach are we at? Porter Bar, wherever it is. Porter Bar. Porter Bar. Porter Bar. Porter Bar. Porter Bar. Porter Bar. to remind you guys why I love Brazil so much okay this is a story about how I met somebody I was walking down the street right and literally we locked eyes and she looked behind her shoulder and I'm gonna give you guys a tip whenever you lock eyes with somebody and they look behind their shoulder or you know they're gonna look behind their shoulder turn all the way around like do a complete 180 and I'm telling you it shocks them every time and it's a clear signal that you've seen them and that you about it she came back and within maybe five or six seconds we were kissing that's a normal thing in brazil and i got her number and she said she was gonna go hang out later we went to go hang out she had her friend with her it was a dude gay dude it's a lot of gay dudes out here which is a good thing because all the dudes are occupied by women but they're not messing with them like that or at least that i know of and so anyway we went and we hung out and the entire time man she's literally just rubbing on my arm telling me how good i look just being so fucking affectionate and just attentive we went, we walked around to a couple other places. She was ordering my food for me, went and picked up the food for me, held the food, went and got my drinks, walked back to the crib, man, and everything. She was just trying to, it, it's, it doesn't compare, man. She's literally asking me about back home, what about my family. She's asking me everything about myself. She had the nice, super tan, brown, sexy, curvy body, your abs, nice curly hair. Guys, get your passports. It's literally that fucking bad. It's a reason why. I told you when I left Madrueta. I told you. Remember her and Chris? Her. Chris. That was an old lady, Chris. The black one. I, I told you whenever I left my Dueta. Remember I was speaking Spanish. So it's a reason. That's what happened when you go out. Even in Rio, it's, this ain't like Rio. See, in Rio, you'll catch an Uber from one side to the next, and it'll take you through two favelas. Here, I ain't been through no favela going nowhere. Like, you'll look. You know, Vieta, Marino, Cajá, Caju e Genipapo E tem uma linha fina Que é de laranja e de maracujá Quer experimentar? Sim, sim E o sabor? Tastes like apple juice. 
Ah, suco de, ah, suco ah, de massa? Não, tem cachaça também. Ah. <risos> Agora é bem fraquinho, porque é pra também eu conhecer o gosto da fruta. É pra o de tamarindo também? Sim. Tamarindo o pessoal gosta muito. Você fala na fruta? Sim. Ele? Ele não fala português. Ele mostrou a degustação. Ah, sabor de Outra é papo, cajá, caju e tamarindo. Esse aqui é So you can see he did a pretty good job. Yeah, I know I'm gonna critique the hell out of whoever cuts my hair because I cut hair. Not anymore, but I was cutting hair for a while. <laughs> I was such a critique. I didn't let anybody cut my hair for years, but he did a good job. And surprisingly, I'm still gonna go home and put the dye in my hair because I, I just gotta have that dye in my hair no matter how good they did. That, uh, that lineup is undefeatable with that dye. That haircut was only 29 hay ice, which is like, I think a, like $5 and like 90 cents. So he, even if he didn't do that good, you can't beat it. You know, I was charging to do seventy dollars a haircut, so but you get what you pay for every you want. We in another country though, so if you multiply multiply that by six, it'd be about thirty dollars, which baseline in Dallas basically.